OK, so when we're going to get into kind of graphing, uh, one thing we always, ex when we're getting into graphing in linear equations or linear functions, um, and especially the, uh, the family of functions, the, always the main important thing we always want to look at is the parent function, right? If there's no transformations, we're not shifting a graph at all, um, what is going to be just the initial graph? So the parent function of a linear graph looks like this, y equals x. And this is what we call the identity function. Um, now, if I wanted to graph this, this is going to be my parent graph, meaning that I'm not going to have any transformations of this graph. So I will just uh, use to do this, I will just create a table. Because remember, for uh, any graph or any function, we can always go back and create a table. So in creating a table, I can just pick some arbitrary values for x. But then remember, I have to plug them in um, into my equation for to find my corresponding y value. So let's not just get crazy. I'll just. Uh, Pick a couple values. So let's do 0, negative 1, negative 2, 1, and 2. So let's plug these into the equation and kind of see what coordinate points we can get for y. So if I have, um, so let's say I have y equals x. So if I put a negative 2 in for x, what does y have to be for this equation to be true? Well, then y also has to, um, well, we can just write that. If x equals negative 2, then we know that y has to equal negative 2. All right, so if I do this again for the negative 1, if x now equals negative 1, then we know y equals negative 1. And you can follow that pattern for the rest of these values. Now, when graphing the linear function, I need to apply these points as my coordinate points. So I'll have my y-axis and my x-axis. So remember, we're going to start our origin 0, 0. So the first point is x is negative 2, which will be in the negative direction on my x-axis. And here's my y-axis. OK, so I go negative 2. And then the y value is down 2, which will be negative 2 as well. So that would be my first point. Then I go negative 1, down 1, 0, 0, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 2. All right. Now, this graph is going to continue infinitely. So I'm going to con continue that with an arrow. And I'm just going to follow the values in there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of swirl. But it's supposed to be a nice straight line. Um, that is what your identity or parent graph of a parent function of a linear graph looks like. Thanks.